Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just a quick apology for such a long delay in uh, the video. Just work in real life and everything getting in the way. I've done 46.5 hours in this tractor. Now, the caravan part is no more. I no longer own it. If you will not pay, I'll show you what this is in a second. If you will not pay, I no longer own it and we no longer have the hedge coin equipment, it's all still here, um, but I had to sell the property, so the shed's gone and the bunker silo's gone. Um, so yeah, that's all gone. Goodbye. Right, so, what have I been up to? Well, I sold that and I brought field, this field, what we're in now, which is just opposite the main yard, I'll explain all this in a second. So there's the main yard, there's Sunday Bay Farm over there. Um, so I brought that, and we've got some extra machinery. Uh, just give you a quick tour. We have a bale shredder. It's ours, we own it. It's been a, a couple of years, I think it's been long since I last came on here. Uh, I've got a big tanker, and I've got some trees there with some pallets underneath them. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, I also brought this cow feed mixer. I can't remember how far back we go, but I brought the cow feed mixer, the round bale storage shed. Uh, I've got a bale wrapper, bale and wrapper there, I think. Can I, can I lease it? I may have leased it. Let me look. Uh, yeah, I leased it. So yeah, so I've got that out and this, um, I can't remember if that was here on the last video. Uh, but then we got new cedar, water tanker, and a griffin truck. Yeah, it's been snowing for some reason. I've got to drive it just through the snow mask. Um, and along with that tanker, we've got a tipper here, kind of crashed in here. That's what I sell my grain with. I uh, don't know what else is new, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, I am currently leasing, let's go to the map in a second, this field here, number 19, it's got oats growing in it. What is the red for? Red is for carrot, I've done a carrot harvest, I hired a big machine for a carrot harvest, that's going to be ready for another Yeah, that'll be ready for some more um, slurry. But anyway, let's just go and have a look what I've been up to. Oh yeah, I do have a bale wrapper, a bale here, yeah, but I think it's on lease though. That's a baler and a wrapper, it will wrap grass bales and it will bale straw bales without wrapping them. Fancy dancy mowers. Uh, yeah, so that is all the new equipment, I think. I haven't no longer got the small little blue tractor that I had. Uh, so these trees down here, let's talk about these. These are fruit trees. Each one is different. I think we've got cherry. I can't remember. I know we've got cherry, apple and plum. I can't remember what this one is. So this one is a apple tree. This one Cherries, plums, and pears. And what these will do, these will eventually fill up. Okay, then we can load them up and sell them. Doesn't bring in a lot of money. But these trees require manure and water to work. You need to water and manure them, feed them essentially once a year. Don't know how much they're gonna grow. Uh, but when they're full, there's a special shop in the town I, I placed to buy it. So that's a new fruit to sell. Let's bring in some extra pennies. Now, let's just skip round. Here we go. Now this thing is a new warehouse. Look at it. Because of the beekeeping thing and what it is, storage. A lot of storage. And I think it's gonna be okay to use with <coughs> pardon me. Uh the straw harvest DLC. I haven't quite got that far yet. Now that is a box of bees, 100 bees. These, 
effective. I'm currently in the process of emptying this out. Uh, so, yeah, so this fills up with honey over time. And then you take these out individually. You have to buy them all individually. It's 14 in each one, so quite a few. So it takes 400 bees in each one. So four boxes of bees. And 14 of these honeycomb. So that's full. So if we take this in here with us, I can show you what's what. That bee, if we could, that bee box there is spare. Now, this is a separate thing. Oh, come on. So you put the honeycomb in there, right, and it empties into this bucket. Then you take the bucket and you empty the bucket into here. Why is that full? Where are all the jars? Now that's interesting. Let's just put that down. If we go into, can I get into here? This is all new, by the way. I'm literally learning as we go. So, in there, let's see what we've got. 16 glasses. Oh, okay. So we spawn two pallets. Let's see what that is. Okay. There we go. And these can come off. And you can stack them. Now I can use a control pack because I'm clever. I'm not. This is going to go badly. But I can stack these on there. Put a strap on them. Take this one. So you buy the jars empty. So I need more jars. I'm not doing it tonight, but I need more jars. There's got to be a better way of uh, picking these guys up. No, that's the three of them. Oh, I don't want to do that. Right, so let's put them down. I wonder, there's different pallets you can buy. This is one of them. I wonder if you can use cages to store these in. But we'll just strap them down. So yeah, you buy these empty and you transport them individually, just like you do these. And so that's full. So I can't carry the production on, but I can put that up. There you go. See, the honey comes out. Jobs are good. But in there, I can take these out. Uh, how do I take these out? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> um, here we go. So I can empty these out. Honeycomb. Uh, which ones do I need to get rid of? Right. Uh, I don't know how this works. I should have planned it better. Uh, right, so it says I've got four in it hundred percent and the input is too full. How many in there? Oh no, wrong button. Okay, come back. Like I said, these are all placeable, so they're pretty easy to move on. Right, so close that lid. Should that do something now? I know, we're supposed to do spin, fill that up, you tip it in there, it fills jars up, you get honey, you sell them at the new shop. Um, you don't have to use it inside this building, but I'm doing so at the minute. But that's pretty much all I've been doing. I'm sorry it's not been a very good mod review. Uh, I, I put this all together a few days ago and I've forgotten, thanks to Family Life, what I'm actually doing. But what I need to do is actually take a flatbed trailer go and buy a whole ton of pallets uh, maybe one more pallet and a whole ton of these things because that was only a couple of these honeycomb and there's 40 in each one so maybe there could be a lot of honey to sell good thing we've got storage with all these doors open oh yeah new forklift too that worked. But yeah, this is a pretty cool mod. Everything opens or closes, as it were. What's that? Mm, light on. Oh, okay. Oh, I was thanking my roommate. 
but there's a door and there's a side door down here. See, it's got like a little office area thingy, which is kind of neat. I think you can throw all these, yeah, you can, or whatever, but you can. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see how that kind of ooh, starts to make us money. What I'll do, this has been a bit of a rush video. I was about to get a video out to say, hey, um, I need to go and fertilize a field, which I'll probably do. Uh, I might do a live stream on Friday, depending on my little boy. He's currently deciding not to sleep at all. So I sold that. That's gone. I still have the leased grass field down there. I own that field and I've leased the field up the way. It's got the oaks in. Um, I'm going to build like a roadway through here. And I'm going to have different... I want to put the pallet, pellet, pallet production there. And I've got a flower production to put in somewhere. Now I have a forklift and a flatbed, which is good. It's close enough. Place closed. <laughs> so yeah, that, that is pretty much it that I've been doing. It's, it's cost me a fortune to do. It's not that bad. I mean, in the beekeeping uh, menu, you get a new met couple of new bits here. Look, this is your this is your stuff. Like it's not it's not expensive. It's fifteen twenty grand for the equipment, and then all the extra bits. Um, in the bucket, obviously, for underneath. This is the pallet I'm going to try next. I'm going to see if we can drop it in there and if it auto fills it. Because um, that's what I've got at the minute, so I don't know. Uh, and then here, we have beekeeping of the beehives here, the two grand. So, pretty much self explanatory. Uh, this is the uh, flower factory that I'm going to make. And these are the different. Right, that's that's the one I've got. Production hall with warehouse. You can have a middle warehouse, so it's just a warehouse with shelving. You can have a large warehouse with more shelving in the middle, and then you've got a production hall and warehouse, which I think is just empty. So it's the same as this one, just empty. Uh, that one might be worth buying, depending on how many pallets we get through. Fruit trees, is it? Fruit trees, you see. I think that's a different mod. But you can only get these on placed on PC. Unfortunately, you need the global company mod to make it work. Um, just like you do with all these various bits of fun. Um, but luckily, you can get this one. If I can remember where it is. Uh, let me see. Sheds, yeah. So these pallet pallet holes, you can get these on Mod Hub for PS4. That's a whole different thing, uh, which I recommend getting. <laughs> anyway, that is a very quick video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry if it's a bit rushed, a bit amateur, but I will try and make a better job of it on Friday on the live stream. Alright guys, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.